New England Living is brought to you by Clark Sub-Zero and Wolf and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston. Today I'm on my way to the suburban city of South Portland, Maine, the fourth largest city in the state with a population of about 25,000. South Portland began as a small farming community and was first settled in 1630. It is situated on Portland Harbor, overlooking the skyline of Maine's largest city, Portland, and the islands of Casco Bay. Despite its name, South Portland was never actually part of Portland. It was originally part of Cape Elizabeth, but is connected to Portland by bridge, making it easy to access everything it has to offer, including restaurants, hotels, and the ferry system. South Portland is now a retail hotspot in its own, with restaurants and hotels, and yet also retains its small town charm, with scenic beaches, parks, hiking trails, and historical landmarks. It is home to two state parks located on the water, Bug Light Park and Spring Point. Bug Light Park houses a monument to the old shipyard, and the East Coast Greenway is a fantastic walking and biking trail that runs through South Portland. I'm on my way to meet homeowners Norma and Sam in their new 3,100 square foot shingle style home that sits on a small rocky point of land that extends out into Casco Bay with a 20 foot cliff on one side and a private beach on the other. The exterior landscaping takes advantage of the panoramic views with many different patios, porches and balconies, as well as a rotunda with custom stone shaped to look like Fort Gorges. Sam is a PhD chemist and a retired executive. Norma, primarily a stay-at-home mom. Instead of downsizing, the couple worked with Gulf Shore Design to build a home that not only maximizes the view, but affords plenty of space to encourage their friends and family to visit, and visit often. I'm going to meet the homeowners, take a tour of this masterful home, talk to some of the players who helped create it, and then Sam and Norma are turning their kitchen over to a local chef and me. We're going to cook up a dinner party and celebrate New England living in South Portland, Maine. Hi, Parker. You must be Norma. I am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Parker. I'm Sam. Sam. Hi, Sam. Welcome nice. to our home. Thank you. My goodness. One of my favorite things is to be able to see the ocean right through the front door. That's it's beautiful. Glorious. Yeah. It is. Well, before we do that, we yes. thought we'd take you around the neighborhood first. Okay, the neighborhood you, first. You, you and I can go through and do that, and we'll bring sure. you something back. I'm game. This is the cookie jar, famous in the neighborhood. What do people buy most? If you're talking donuts, raised glaze still outsells everything else. else. So it sounds like we should try a raised glaze. Yeah, definitely. Let's try it. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. This is Scraps. It's a nice neighborhood uh, bakery. So no wonder you have to walk around the neighborhood with all these bakeries. Exactly. You have to keep them moving. <laughs> yeah, I would say. I should go through it. But let's get, uh, let's get a bagel and take Oh, that sounds great. Then we won't get in trouble with Norma then. Yeah, exactly. We bring something home. There's one other place to show you. Oh, no, one more no, place? No food at the next place. Oh, no. This is a dog friendly beach uh, for it. So, what they uh, allow is you, know, you can walk your dogs before 9 a.m. or after 7 p.m. with it. You know, so, during the day, it's a beach with a lifeguard, and so kids come out and play. And you can see uh, Spring Point lights out there. But we'll show you that later from the house. I mean, I really get to go to the house? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let's do that now. That's Ready for the tour now? I am. As, yes, I am. This is our living room and dining room. How many degrees is this view? It's about 270. Wow. And so you see that the design challenge in here is that I have a lovely wife who loves trim work yeah, and the woodwork and such too. And so she and the designer kept saying, let's put more and let's put more in. And I kept saying, it's about the view. Okay, so it compromise on how large the windows can be yeah. because right. you, you wanted the frame of all of them. It, the, the compromise is gorgeous. Yeah. And one of the things you see, the columns that are here. Yes. And we found this a great uh, individual to do the turning and we'll show you some different ones going through. Originally founded in 1872, Sacco Manufacturing is the company responsible for the incredible woodworking in Sam and Norma's home. We had a chance to stop by the artisan shop in nearby Sacco, Maine and see their work in action. Owner Tony and his team of talented craftsmen custom create anything from one inch finials to 14 foot columns. Spindles, newel posts, molding and more. Their passion and attention to detail was evident. 
We really tried to use anybody local that we could. Yes. You know, for some of the specialty items, and we met some really nice people, didn't we? That's, that's a that's a main that's thing I'm finding. Yeah, you really do try to support the local. Yeah. This is my room. I got to pick this out, so I really oh, I love it. What? Tell me about this. We wanted something that was really natural that would flow outside. I was thinking about the rocks, the ledge exactly. all around yeah. it. This it looks like it belongs here. It really does. Oh, and it's got really nice texture, too. Would you like to go upstairs? Yes. This is Ben's study area. So we wanted to do some special things for Ben. And so this is one of them. You see the, <gasps> the secret, no! The secret door. No! It just goes no. into the back of his room. <laughs> oh, tell me, every child wants one of these. Yeah. Yes. Can I just do this? Can I push sure. it? Sure. You can sure. push it. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's a nice room. So this is his bedroom. This was out of the old house. This was the master bedroom set that was in the old house. Uh -huh. And we wanted to, to keep it. We had fixed it up a little bit, painted the insides to it. He really loved oh, it. There you are. So that's, uh, he guards the neighborhood. And Paolo yeah. likes this because he can look out and look up the street. Oh yeah, you see other dogs out there, do you? So, yeah. that's do you, you like this, huh? Well, this right. is our room. Am I in Maine? Am I absolutely in Maine? You are in Maine. Cue the lobster boat, that's gorgeous. We're gonna have lobster, I'm gonna go lobstering with the chef tomorrow. Yeah. Oh cool. Part of the dinner party is gonna be lobster. I love it. So you can sit out here or... Oh, this is nice. This is being on the water. You maximized every possible angle, every possible view, every possible everything. It's just incredible. Norma and Sam's youngest son, Ben, came home from school just in time to give me his personal tour of his favorite space in the home. I like more of a modern style. Mm -hmm. This um, is modern. So I kind of like the black and green kind of look. Yeah, chic. Very chic. And then this, I play drums, so... Oh, you do? What a setup. This is a cool room. Thank nice you. velvet chairs. Green. Green. Very nice. <laughs> Come on, Ben. Oh, you got me on that one. That was good. Oh, well, that was good. <laughs> New England Living is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero, and Wolf and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston.